the summer is unfortunately over. I don't like winter here. I'm cutting the cords because I'm going to cook what's happening. It's all Peter's fault. We have one male here. Okay, I think the hole should be big enough now. Hi guys, I'm Tommy and I'm Peter. Welcome back to our channel. So it's been a year since we took over our country house. Yeah, can you believe it? <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, we got the keys last September and it's September again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we got to spend all four seasons here for the first time. Yeah, yeah. We started in fall, then winter, <laughs> as we know, then spring. Yeah, and what's next? <laughs> I think summer. Yeah. So one full circle done. Mm -hmm. So since it's been one year, I think we should reminisce a little bit and uh, review what we managed to do in mm -hmm. that year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So keep watching and we will do that. <laughs> and some other things too. Yeah. Right? Definitely. Yeah. We can just relax and talk. Uh -huh. So come on. to pick blackberries we have quite a lot of them here in this area uh, a lot of them are not ripe yet but the ones that are are going to our breakfast we are planning to plant more berry shrubs in the future so we have a lot of different kinds and yeah we are looking forward to it What's going on? Well, you remember about two months ago when my mom was here, uh, our strawberries started creating runners and because we loved uh, the strawberries so much we wanted to make more of them. So we planted them back then in these pots and we let them grow in the pots to make them stronger and now it's time to set them free. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm cutting the cords, they will not be fed by their moms anymore. Now it's free and I can plant it here on the new garden bed that we prepared. We finally managed to get this cleaned up from the weeds, mm -hmm. so it's ready just in time. Like everywhere here too? Well, we will just use about this much, I think. Mm -hmm. We created about 10 of them, something like that, so it should be enough. Okay. So I need to dig up a hole. And then I'll plant the strawberry in and hope that it survives. It doesn't want to go out. I chose a bad pot because mm. I can't press it. Oh. And something's living inside. What's that? Oh my god. Some big worm. It's hard to get it out of the pot, so let's hope I don't destroy the roots in the process. Mm. I think it's coming up. Jesus. No, it's not. Ah, something's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. It's done. Wow, so many worms. Ta da! I need to make a bigger hole. <laughs> I think the hole should be big enough now. Yeah, better. Looks good now. Mm hmm. Last one, and we'll be done with strawberries. And we have two new lines of 10 more strawberry plants. So next year the harvest will be even better. Yes, I'm so looking forward to it because the strawberries were so tasty, sweet, 
the best strawberries I've ever had so far, but maybe it will be even better next year. And it looks tidier than this mess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The summer is unfortunately over, so we want to use the time we have left until it gets too cold and plant some more shrubs, which we prepared here. We have some new stuff, which we don't have yet on our property. So we have here uh, four sea buckthorn plants. I think those are supposed to be really healthy, with a lot of vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. We have two more uh, chokeberry plants. It's this one with a lot of uh, fruits, which is really nice. This is how it arrived uh, via mail. Yeah, wow, I love it. Yeah. And there's one more here. This one doesn't have any fruits, unfortunately. Mm, we should return that. Yeah. Uh, then we have here a special um, elderberry plant. What's we, special about it? Uh, it's special because it has red leaves. Mm -hmm. Normally it has green leaves, yeah. but we ordered this special breed. Mm -hmm. And then we have here another special specialty. What's that? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it's called Cornelian Cherry uh -huh. in English. Wow. Yeah. It's also supposed to have berries, which you can eat. I've never tasted it. I have no idea what it tastes like. I think it's used for alcohol. Oh. So, yeah, we'll see. We will not make alcohol, but you can eat it. You never it. know. So let's plant it. This is where we planted the sea buckthorns. Uh, the interesting thing is that uh, some plants are male and some are female. So we, had, we have one male here and uh, three female plants here next to each other. Each of them is a different breed. So we'll be curious to taste what the difference is between them. And this is all plant yes. according to wind. The pollen from the male shrub should fly onto these three females. Yeah, so that's why I asked Peter, as the main meteorologist in our household, <laughs> to tell me uh, from where the wind will blow. And based on that we planted the shrubs. Mm -hmm. So if there is no fruit, it's all Peter's fault. Yeah, as always, blame it on the weatherman. This is a special elderberry shrub. Uh, it's supposed to have red leaves, so that's interesting, but the berries should be normal black and I'm looking forward to the flowers in spring because I'm going to cook what's happening, motorbikes <laughs> driving around. So yeah, so this and we are planning to plant more of these. So. That will be great. But just the regular green leafed ones. Really? Why yeah. not the red ones? Because it's more expensive. Oh, okay. So, green leaves. Okay. <laughs> the color is just for decoration. These two, here and here, 
They are my favorite chokeberries. We already have one here. I read on the internet that they are mostly grown in Eastern Europe. So I don't know if you are familiar with them. But yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> now you are. And here we have one uh, Cornelian cherry. Yeah, such a difficult name. Uh, it's supposed to have red fruits, which you can eat as well, but we've never had them, so we have no idea what they taste like. And in Slovakia they make alcohol out of it. Yeah, that's interesting. But I've never had that. But a lot of berries, we don't know. Yeah, I'm really excited to have all these kinds and to try them for the first time, hopefully next year. Uh -huh. We have only one plant so far, but we need one more, uh, so that uh, they would uh, pollinate each other uh, yeah so we'll have to buy one more and plant it soon the sun is setting now but before it gets completely dark we also wanted to plant uh, raspberries we have three plants different kinds again and we are making space here in the tall grass where nothing else is growing at the moment to use the space and plant them here next to our uh, animal neighbors mm -hmm. so let's get to it <laughs> it was in the box for too long. They all were, but this one was at the bottom, so it didn't have any sunlight for a week. Yeah, but it should be okay, right? They say raspberries are weeds, so mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it should grow again. Yeah. We got keys to our country house in September 2019. Yes. Which means it's been a year since we're here. Wow, it's a long time. It flew by really quickly, yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. Wow, a year is a long time. Yeah, so we went through all the seasons here. Mm -hmm. I remember when we came here for the first time to spend the first night. That's when we got the keys. Mm -hmm. So uh, the previous owners gave us keys to the house and we immediately wanted to stay a night. Yeah. Even though there were no beds here, for example. Yeah, we were so looking forward to it that we took our sleeping bags <laughs> with us uh, we came by bus mm -hmm. and just had some necessary things in our backpacks. Yeah. I was sleeping in the kitchen mm -hmm. <laughs> on some old sofa. Yeah. And you? I found some old mattresses and yeah, put my sleeping bag onto them. And that was it. They were really hard, so it wasn't comfy. But it was exciting. Yeah, it was totally exciting, because you have this new home, not like a home, but new house <laughs> that's yours, yeah. and it's a great feeling. It, it wasn't a new house, of course, <laughs> it's a very old house. Yeah. But uh, the great thing was that we still came here when it was warm. It was the end of the summer, mm -hmm. it was a warm year, not like this one. Yeah. So we still enjoyed some warm days here during September. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So uh, we tanned, of <laughs> course, in the yard. <laughs> that was like our first activity yeah. to do here. <laughs> Sitting around, uh -huh. sipping tea. Yeah, yeah, and just enjoying the silence and it was very peaceful. Yeah. We didn't do almost anything at first. We were just relaxing and discovering the surroundings, mm -hmm. going on walks and hikes. Yeah, and discovering the property as mm -hmm. well, because there are so many buildings and areas here, and it was a lot. We, we will still do a house tour and property tour. We still haven't got to that, yeah. uh, but it's coming. <laughs> there are still places I haven't been to on our own property. Or I was there just once when we, when we took it over. Yeah, yeah. Like the attic, or you know, we don't go there very often. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because 
you don't need the space. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it'll be fun to see it together <laughs> after mm -hmm. a year. Yeah. So that was uh, the end of summer or beginning of autumn. Mm -hmm. But then the autumn started or fall. It got colder quite quick, but it got even colder in the house. Yeah, because uh, we are used to our condo conditions. It's very energy efficient. Mm -hmm. So we don't need to use the heating, for example, until like December. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And we stop using it in March, maybe. Yeah. So yeah, it, it, it keeps, it, it just stays warm there. And here it's completely the opposite. It's a very old house. It's, uh, it wastes all the energies. The heat goes immediately away through the roof, I think. Mm -hmm. So it, it was a shock to us. Yeah. Like, why is it so cold in the house? It's, it's even colder than outside <laughs> or something. And we started wearing sweaters and uh, brought all these blankets mm -hmm. and everything because it was really cold. Yeah. And there is heating, uh, like normal heating, but we didn't want to use it that much because we thought it, it's expensive. Mm -hmm. So at first, because we weren't used to using heating that early in the year. Yeah. But then we had to use it because it was very cold. So we did some work inside, like we painted the walls mm -hmm. a bit, not all of them, but just a few walls that were in terrible state. Yeah. And We brought some appliances mm -hmm. in the kitchen. Yeah, uh, during the winter or during the cold phase, we didn't do much outside. There was nothing to do. Mm -hmm. So we dedicated our time to the indoors. And that's what we are planning to do this winter again. When we're done uh, taking care of the property outside, we will probably again think of some projects inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we didn't do much then. Uh, because it wasn't our priority. This this whole country house, uh, the main thing for us are the outdoors, mm -hmm. right? And we don't really care about the indoors that much. It's just a place for us to sleep mm -hmm. and for us to cook. Yeah. So and for me to work. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's what we took care of at the beginning to have an internet connection here mm -hmm. and we bought a sofa mm -hmm. uh, mattresses yeah. and then well in winter it was we realized that there's not much to do here so we didn't come here that often like maybe for two or three days every two weeks mm -hmm. or so just to check that everything is okay and every time we tried to think of some project to do something here but there wasn't much to do, so we stayed most of the time in the city. And then uh, with uh, the coming spring, we started coming more often and we were looking forward to uh, seeing everything grow and to be in the warm weather again and then again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's when we started to shoot our YouTube videos. Yeah. It's been half a year now. Uh -huh. Can you imagine? Wow, yeah. yeah. And we reached uh, 1000 subscribers recently so thank you guys it's unbelievable that uh, 1000 of you are willing to watch our videos so that's great and hopefully more of you will come to our channel we'll see <laughs> we'll see yeah so from March onwards uh, you already saw what we've been up to or you could find it in our videos. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember we started with planting some trees mm -hmm. because when we uh, took over the place the field in the back was completely empty. Mm -hmm. There was nothing there except clover yeah. and uh, we wanted to transform it or start transforming it uh, into an orchard mm -hmm. slash meadow. Yeah, because we wanted to have something more interesting than just a field, yeah. more nature and more diverse areas mm -hmm. there. Yeah, so I remember we started planting the trees with your father at mm -hmm. the beginning of the spring and that was our first video here yeah. at the country house. Yeah. 
and since then we've been continuing with that throughout the year planting more shrubs mostly mm -hmm. but now actually that the autumn is coming again we are planning to plant more trees as well mm -hmm. to continue with the transformation yes, we will expand yeah which will be fun because we feel like already now we have so many fruits that uh, we don't know what to do with them <laughs> <laughs> yes. and we are planting more <laughs> yeah because uh there were already some fruit trees and shrubs in the garden and we didn't do anything with them. They just grow and a lot of fruits yeah. appeared on them. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. But uh, one interesting coincidence this year is the whole uh, pandemic situation. Mm -hmm. And we were very fortunate that we bought the place or we decided to buy the place before everything happened. And I learned again to drive a car uh, right before the pandemic happened. So we were able to come here very often and enjoy our free time here. Because normally we love to travel, but we weren't able to do that this year. But since we have this place, I don't even mind. Yeah, yeah. Like the need to travel somehow diminished. Mm -hmm and it's great to spend time here yeah and it's great that we didn't have to be locked in our condo the mm -hmm. whole time yeah during this nice weather and we were able to spend the time here in the garden and in the field going on hikes and exploring new area mm -hmm. and in some previous videos we kept saying how the how coronavirus disappeared from our country and that we were able to beat it but since then <laughs> The situation is different again because a lot of people wanted to travel and uh, the number of new cases are rising throughout Europe again and countries are again starting to uh, create restrictions. For example, Hungary closed its borders for a month mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and again we have to start wearing face masks uh, on public transport and elsewhere as well. So. Yeah, it's it's good to have this place that we can escape to when we need to. It would be very restricting for us to be locked in our condo mm -hmm. and in the city because we are nature guys, yeah. and outdoorsy gays. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we, we love to be outside, so this is the place for us. Yeah, but now that uh, autumn is here, I'm happy <laughs> that some things are over that I can relax and I won't have to weed out the garden again. Oh yeah. For example. <laughs> but uh, winter will be sad because there will be again nothing to do and it will be dark all the time. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so I'll be looking forward to spring and weeding out again. Yeah, winter is boring season for us mm -hmm. because it's not really snowy or something. It's usually just gray without any colors overcast all the time, temperature around zero, and yeah, mm. I, I don't like winter here. Hopefully the winter will be over quickly, and then the spring, and we will watch the trees growing, and yeah. shrubs. And we will apply everything that we learned this year, uh -huh. and make everything grow better, Yeah, faster. Yeah. This year might have been uh, easier, because it wa it rained a lot, mm -hmm. so we didn't have to worry about trees dying yeah. uh, because of drought or anything. Mm -hmm. It's been totally a different year. Yeah. So I expect that next year will be completely different. It will not rain and we will have to figure out how to water everything regularly. And uh, in our garden beds we will have to grow different veggies than this year so that they would survive the uh, dry season, for example. Yeah. We'll have to see and adapt. Yeah, I think a lot more different challenges are ahead of us. <laughs> but we are ready. And with that, we are going to finish our video for today. Thank you guys for tuning in. Give us a thumbs up if you liked this video. Comment below if you have anything interesting to say. You can share this video with your friends so more people can discover our channel and subscribe if you haven't done it yet mm -hmm. and see you guys next time bye bye, bye.